Hello everybody and I welcome you back to Boar FTB Unleashed Skyblock. Um, right now, a ton of boar just spawned and it's really confusing. But we have a task that is a very crucial task. We have to rely on luck and skill to get it done. So, spawner requires this thing two magma two magma cream which is the only thing that's left and obviously magma cream requires blaze powder is that they get it yes you need blaze powder so one blaze rod will get me enough blaze powder to get both of them and that'll get my spawner good to go and i have one blaze in this net and no blaze powder so if i if i kill this blaze i have to get a blaze rod otherwise we's in trouble so I got my looting four sword and we're gonna have a little blaze fight here we go ah, stop moving yes we got five nice I got spoils and nothing significant just tons of tons of junk we got a blaze rods a blaze run on okay so that's super awesome and stuff dump the rest in there that's useless this is useless way too many force mitts got some gold and some bread i don't know what that tin that copper is from so today is a building episode which has me a little scared because last time there was a building episode i made this thing and this one is going to be a little bit more than um, a storage room. I want a house. And where I want the house to go is right here. Underground. Underneath my platform and stuff. So I have to go down to get to it. So that's my plan. What, how I'm going to do it and what I'm going to do it out of, I have no idea. But mainly I just wanted to kill that blaze right now so I could get this. So I could get, so I could make sure I had the materials to make the spawner. Other than that, let me show you around my recent changes. In here, I added some more crafting tables. So you can see quite a bit more stuff. Um, I connected the two logistic systems I had. One way over there that holds all my, my mob loots. I now have access to that. So from over here, I can tell it to craft a minium stone because I have access to the shards and all that. I also can tell it to craft tin and copper, which is really cool. Um, over back at the ender chests where we started, see I have some pipes hooked up. And we got two. Uh, you can see it. It's uh, two crafting logistics pipes and a satellite. So in these, it says send an iron to satellite four and you get a tin. And in that one, it says send a tin to satellite four and you get a copper. So this, this is satellite four. It puts a, I tell it to make a tin. It throws an iron into that chest and just waits for a tin to appear here. Which will take some time, but it's good at waiting. I'm not. So I already tried it. I had to auto craft three copper. As you could see, it was a total success. I also have this chest hooked up to a provider logistics, provider logistics pipe. And like every early system, it has to be self-replicating. So I told it how to craft logistics crafting tables. Basically, well, I just squeaked. <clears throat> Basic logistics pipes and crafting logistics pipes. So um, I could just put in an order for like 20 of them and grow the system that way which is super fun and super easy. Um, if you didn't notice from last time, I did turn off the tree farm because my wood supply was too high. Actually, that barrel is empty, so I guess it's kind of fine. Mostly the saplings, though. It was too high, and I had nothing to do with it all. But, yeah. These apples are still just here. So I never um, did use the apple oak because it wouldn't work. My dog's down here because an enderman attacked me, and he... Came to the rescue and saved my butt again. Thank you so much. You're, you're going to get your own little doghouse. Um, 
But yeah, it's a building episode. So, let me pull my death lever real quick. And slay all these mobs. That's so cool, it's like a firework. Everything just kind of explodes. And, we will get started. Okay, I don't know about you, but I've done enough building for today. Like, you, like you've done a lot of buildings. I made this thing. Um, it's in early, very early stages. But, I realized I need um, ice. Look. It's a raven! <coughs> I need ice. So I have this thing set up to start churning out some ice, but it's still a very slow process. And I need quite a bit of this uh, frostbound stone for my for my structure. So instead, where am I going? Um, going down here. So instead, I decided that today we will work on. Uh, look at look at that. Uh, the raven's little symbol on the me map. Right here. It's like a little bandit or something. But today... No, I just built. That would be a continuing project that we work on. I want to start setting up the spawner system. Because that is important. So, we got this um, natural spawner. And I'm going to have to get rid of the mega spike thing, this thing right here, because we need to, <clears throat> wow, my voice is going, we need to collect mob essence to pump it to the spawner. Mob, that's it's this stuff, that's all got to go into the spawner. And to do that, you need a grinder, one of these things. So. This is going to be a task I have to make. Good thing I have machine frames and redstone reception coils programmed into the system. So we need a reception coil. We need a machine frame. We need books times two. Definitely won't have the leather for it. We should have the string and wood. Oh, or I have two books right here. I need, I believe, eight tin, two iron, for the, I'm talking about the gears right now, and two gold for the sword, some rubber. Oh, this isn't going to be very interesting. I'll be right back after I do a bit of crafting. Okay, so once again, I'm breaking progression down into a series of events that are going to need to take place in order to get where I want to go. So, the auto spawner, we now have the materials to make the block. That's that's all set. And we need mob essence to f we need mob essence and power to fuel it. Okay. Mob essence. I made this grinder. This grinder will go here. We need power to fuel it. To get power here, I don't either need to go through tons and tons of resources to craft either copper cables or more expensive glass fiber cables, which also transform power, all the way over there, or I can make tesseracts. Tesseracts require uh, thermal expansion setups, uh, which require power. To get the power around, I'll need these redstone energy conduits, which I just made, and I need to generate the power as well, which means I need some kind of engine best kind of engine obviously is going to be the biogas engine to get the biogas I'm going to need fermenters which will ferment the biogas into um, ferment saplings from the tree farm into biogas convert it into build craft power as opposed to industrial craft power which can then be sent through test racks which we will make using the magma crucible liquid transposer setup because this thing um, I have to break this block and put power in manually with this little pipe. So that's not fun. Um, so, that's where we're at right now. I need fermenters and stills. No, what I, I need fermenters and engines. Which is going to require quite a bit of stuff and quite a bit of material gathering. So, I'm going to check to see if we have time for that this episode. 
and I'll be right back. We are totally fine on time. The episode's only like half over. I feel like I've done so much, but no time's gone by. Okay. So, we're going to need some iron. Uh, actually, I'll just tell it to craft. Well, let's, let's do count. Okay, that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 24 copper, which would be um, in sets of 4. That's 6 sets of 4, which is 18 copper and 6 tin. 18, 6 tin. So I'll leave that to craft a little bit. Then it'll, of course, throw the iron into there. You can see it going in. Now I need a place for this stuff, which I'm thinking right now it just goes right here. I will make places for it later, but right now our current building project is the house, which won't get done until... Again, it draws back to the fermenters and biogas because I need the glacial precipitator to make ice. Of course, there's a stack, but it's going to run out of power pretty fast. And I'm running all my power off this one steam engine, which isn't very smart because I have to constantly turn it around and move stuff to get it to access it. I do have these cables now, but I'm just going to do a complete revamp of the everything. Oh, I saw, I saw stuff moving. I saw lots of ingots flying down. Oh, here they come. Awesome. See, so much easier and I don't have to do a thing. 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, good. And I will do some of this and this. I'll also tell it to make 10 more iron. Just because. In case I need it. See, it goes wee. I really only need four of the iron right now, I believe. There we go. Oh, that's five. You go too fast, system. Okay, let's run, run, run down here and grab some glass. Four glass to be exact. And now, if I remember this correctly, do that. Oh, I don't remember this correctly. Oh, you need spawns okay you need stone gears not iron no problem I think that's gonna craft wait I have two stone gears in this oh it must be in the they're in the chest down there that's right it should just pull the other ones yep cool cool thank you logistics pipes you're my best friend so I take this and do that do that sorry there and there 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 uh, da, da, da. and now another problem is I need to power this to start generating the biomass to generate power so it's like I need to kickstart it kind of so fermenter goes here I'm going to need uh, I could do there's f liquid ducks right that's what they're called now they changed the name to Fluidux in the next version, so now I'm const I'm starting to change... Like, I always called them Liquid Ducks, but now I have to start calling them Fluid Ducks, so now going back to Liquid Ducks is tough. Oh, let's just keep constant names. So, hardened glass is a bit tough to make. I need... Uh, I need obsidian. One down here. Point, point. And I'll craft some obsidian. Oh no. <laughs> that only makes me one. Okay, I need one more. For some reason I thought one made two, but that's, that's backwards. Got two obsidian. I pulverize this up. I need the system to make me one piece of gold, which I then make into silver and make the silver into lead. And that'll make me two hardened glass. Um. I need the, the biogas engine, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 bronze, which I need to make 12, which divided by 4, be 3, which would be 9 copper, and make it 9 copper, 
and 310 and my gold okay this is this is getting a little lengthy I'll be right back once I get this all set up okay infrastructure done here it is it's a really simple setup I got the fermenter here I just put some saplings in there I got some compost because that's the only thing I could make I got two of the biogas engines I made another and with the current version, um, pipes, the entire pipe would be set to input and output. So I couldn't put a machine here because it would be trying to pull energy from it because it's attached to the same pipe. But it still works fine. I got all this set up. got pulverizer, inductor, smelter, magma crucible, liquid transposer. And I'm planning on putting the uh, glacial precipitator in later to get all the ice I could ever want. But right now, it's time to make us a tesseract. So we got four ender pearls. They get melted down. And they should that should automatically get ooh, extra cables automatically get sent into here. I got a tesseract frame I made out of some hardened glass and a diamond. And after a little bit of time, it should um, process that and it should fill it up like a square bucket. Eventually, give it some time. Give it some time. And there it is. Okay, so now all I do. And I take this, I go like that, and like that, and shaw, and boom. Energy Tesseract, there you go. Now all I need to do is hook it up to another one. <laughs> that can uh, give it power. See, it needs to come in a pair. Anyway, that's probably going to end off the episode here. With our dog uh, sitting perched upon, well, the floor. <laughs> um... Made some progress, got that done, that done. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.